Today, I wanna to talk about a relatively new category of flying camera that I'm really excited about called an FPV Cinelifter. A Cinelifter is a supersized FPV drone that can lift a cinema camera. And in this series of videos, we're gonna learn all about Cinelifters, including how to build one yourself. FPV drones are amazing. They can fly through tiny gaps, do crazy acrobatic maneuvers, and just get amazing shots that you can't get with a traditional camera drone. But until recently, most FPV drones have only been able to carry small action cameras like GoPros. And sometimes a GoPro just won't cut it. No shade, GoPro cameras are great. They're small, they're light, they're sturdy, and under the right conditions, they can produce really great looking footage but action cameras have some pretty serious limitations. They have tiny little sensors which produce a lot of noise when shooting in low light conditions. The optics are not the best and there's a fair amount of lens distortion. And these little cameras record a highly compressed video format that doesn't allow for much flexibility to work on your color in post. And that is why Cinelifters are now a thing. Cinelifters really are just big, burly FPV drones that can lift bigger, heavier cameras like the Blackmagic pocket cameras, DSLRs, mirrorless cameras, or box cams like Z cams or the Red Komodo. Basically anything bigger than a GoPro. These bigger cameras have larger sensors for better image quality and low light performance. They also have interchangeable lens mounts and they use better recording formats that just capture more information and give you more flexibility to dial in your color in post. I've been really excited about FPV drones as a filmmaking tool for a while now, but I've always been kind of bummed about the limited camera options for FPV filming. Today, it's possible to build a DIY drone that can chase fast moving subjects, hit tiny gaps, do flips in the air, and it can do it all while carrying a legit cinema camera. That's amazing, but it's also not easy. I spent a lot of time building, testing, and tweaking to get to a point where I'm finally happy with the footage that I'm getting out of my Cinelifter drones. So if you're interested in doing the same thing, or you're just interested in the process, then I hope you'll subscribe to this channel. In future videos, I'll dive into the specifics of how to build or buy a Cinelifter drone, how to solve for some of the problems that I've encountered along the way, and finally, I'll take you through the whole post-production workflow. But for now, I'll just leave you with some Cinelifter footage. Enjoy.